Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. I just want to thank you guys for coming by today on my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. And of course, today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree item and it'll be super easy and it is, as I promised on my previous video, I'm going to show you how I make the gnome. So yes, I am showing you and I'm going to make this gnome. That's what I, yeah, we're almost the same color, isn't it? We are both in our jammies today. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you how I make my gnome. The same gnome, almost the same but different color. So yes, let's get started and let's get into it. So let's go. All right, today I'm going to show you how I make this gnome. And as I promised, I'm going to show you how I make this gnome. So, here we go. This is what you need. You need a... I got everything from the Dollar Tree. This is supposed to be a headband. And with this blue one right here, this is what I use for the gnome's mustache or beard. That's what I use. And that's from this headband. You can get this at the Dollar Tree and this is where I get this. As you can see, I cut them in half and then the blue goes to here. But I'll show you how to remove this from this headband, okay? And the wood beads. I could not find any of these at the Dollar Tree so I went to the children's area craft area at Walmart so this is where I got this they have different kind of colors so I just grab it and it's cheaper as well a baby sock I get this one at the Dollar Tree as well and I use the blue one the blue sock because it's supposed to be pink and blue and I use the blue one for this okay I got this at the Dollar Tree as well pipe cleaner if you can have a pipe cleaner any color a felt this is what we're gonna use for the gnomes hat okay so it's a little bit match and the gnomes shoes or a boot okay if you want to see how I made this boot, go check this out on my previous video. It should be posted. Alright, so here we go. Let's get started. First, what I did is I removed this headband out from this band. So just remove it out of here. It's a little bit tricky because it's super sticking on this band so what I do is I melted that glue from my glue gun I tried to melt that up so they're a little bit quicker to separate it takes time There you go. It's a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to clean my space down here and I'll be right back. Now let's separate this one because we don't need this anymore. You can do something from this one, but for now I'm going to toss it away. And I'm going to separate this two color because I'm going to use the pink one. So I'm just going to try to open this with my scissors and hopefully I can find those thread that join them together. And there you go, there is my pink beard. You just have to remove all the thread in there you don't need those and those little 
sturdy one, those hard ones from the glue. So you just have to remove it. And I think they're clean now. Super clean and you can feel it. Super clean. There you go. There is our little beard. And let's put that aside. We don't need this blue right now, but maybe one day I could make another one. So I'm just going to keep this and put them aside. Next, we are going to work on our sock. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. This one is going to be the arm and the other one is going to be the body, okay? We are going to fill this up with a filler. I forgot you need a filler if you have a pillow that you don't use wash them again and you can use the inside because if you buy this it's kind of pricey so recycle is better first you're going to fill this up start in the middle what I said about it is that you start in the middle and you fill the side and side so they're kind of stretch like that so the body is stretching and wide so it's enough to fit on that shoe size and width so now you feel the other side try to fill that up real good okay and now you can go to this side Okay, so what I said is you have to make sure that the sock is a little bit wide because once you put this on the gnome shoes, it should be perfectly enough in there to that shoes width, okay? So you have to aim that that you can try to make it stretch on the side, okay? And I am going to fill this up even more. Alright, I think that's it. We created already a gnome's body and I'm just going to tie this up. And there you go. There is our gnome's body. So right now I have this piece of felt and I'm just going to fold it like this. And I will create like an almost looking cone. I'd rather have a more of a space to adjust than nothing. Okay, so it should look like that, like a looking cone of a triangle-ish. And once I did that, now I can measure the head. size of the gnome so it's always awesome when you have a space to work on more space to work on than nothing so then you can adjust it and how you want or how wide is your nose hat would be so I think that could be perfect like that all right so before we do that we are going to put this pipe in here so once we are trying to bend it like this like this gnomes hat that we just made there is a structure where you can adjust and play around of how your hat would look like okay so what I did is I have these two pipes you can have a one pipe and bend it over this is my leftover from this blue one so I just cut them off and all you have to do is just twist and twist. Alright, so I will glue this on the side right here. So then when I bend it, you can adjust it like so like that. So that's how easy that was. So I'm going to glue this on the side right here. Alright. 
so all you have to do is just wait until they dry next we are going to put our hat and measure it out of how far and how close it would be so I think this could be it so I'm just going to glue this one And then I will bend this one down here so I could glue my filler down there. So that should be it. And there you go. And then I can put that nose in there and that beard like so. Alright. I am going to use this color and I am going to use two of those tiny ones for the gnome's arm. Or hand. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to work on this area. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to glue this one here in the middle. So there you go. There is our gnome. It's getting super pretty. Now we are going to make our gnome's arm before we close everything, okay? So we are going to make a gnome's arm first. Okay, now we are going to make a gnome's arm. So what we are going to do is we are just going to cut this little wedge down here and then cut them in half, okay? So that's what I'm just going to try and do. Just try to make it even looking. Yeah. And cut the bottom like that. And then you cut them in half okay I tried to make this one even as well to this little area which is already even so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to cut this little wedge down here because it's kind of awkward looking to the side so as you can see, I want to cut this because this one is kind of giving a something in there. So I'm just going to cut them off, straight line. And you don't have to worry about this because it'll be tucked into the gnome's hat anyways. So what I like is I like to curve it a little bit just like that because it creates a style. And I'm going to glue these little tiny beads down here inside. And I will try to make sure that this hole right here on these beads is going to be closer and it's not going to be showing on that sleeve, okay? So stay with me. So that's what I'm talking about. So the hole is right there and it'll be covered. And we just have to turn and turn. Until you create a arm for that 
no And then all you have to do is just follow the roll of this. Don't worry about where they meet because this is going to be closer to the body. And then just glue it. Right, there you go. There is our gnomes. One arm. And it's super nice because it creates like a looking elbow down here. Alright. So, one down. And I'm going to continue this one and finish it. So, stay with me. There is our other arm. So now it's time to attach this arm to our little no. All right. Okay, so let's put this in here. Just tuck them in here. And you will learn how far and how low you want it. So it's up to you. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to tuck this in here. And that's how far I want my arm for my gnome. Okay. So that would be perfect. Then I can start gluing them. And then I can start gluing the hat all together so they are more intact. Okay, so stay with me. And there you go. Super cute. Now I'm going to try and make this one bend how I want it and that's how I want it like this and I'm going to glue a look how cool that is it's so easy to work on I'm going to use a filler and I'm just using a gold since I like gold because this one has a silver so I'm using this pink one to be the gold so just a little dab down here enough to hold them on the felt like that and just hold it don't move it because once you keep moving it it's not gonna make a difference you have to redo it over and over again and it's just going to create a smudge on your felt okay so i think that was super cute and then now we can attach this on our gnome shoes if you want to learn how i make this gnome's shoes just check them out on my previous video and it will show us everything in there how i create this gnome's shoes okay so then i'm just going to glue this in here and first, I'm going to make sure that I will glue around, not outside, but it's almost like inside of the shoes. And then I also cover up my 
rice as well. So glue it almost inside and I'm out of a glue stick. And then just do it like that and cover the rice with glue. And there you go. So that's how you do it like that. It's not in the edge or the wedge of the shoe but it's almost inside okay and then all we have to do is just glue it and we just have to wait until they dry off and push it real good so they sit in and don't move it around just do it steady And there you go, it's done. Super pretty. Super cute. There you go, and then look how sturdy that is. Super cute. And there you go, there is our gnome, a boy and a girl. There you go, and it's super cute and easy. So, what do you think, guys? And there is the gnome's arm, super cool. And there it is. And I'm going to show you guys the closer look, okay? it that was super easy and fun those gnomes they were super awesome and cute and honestly my my little guy already asked the blue one he wants the blue one and this is the pink one that we just made super cute there they are super cute and super pretty as well and I really really like it super cute anyway um if you want to learn how I make these boots or the shoes go check them on my previous video it should be posted previously that could be like two days ago somehow on my previous video it should be in there so go there and check them out how I made the shoes super easy and fun so yes i just want to thank you guys for staying with me today thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping by you guys are awesome and you have an awesome day